Well, three tenths of a second, folks. Three laps to go. Nigel Greenway, our statistician, has stayed up all night to keep the information pumping for us. And the race is on. The lion roars at Mount Panorama. Murphy and Tanda, nose to tail, coming up the shell corner now. And Tanda does the best lap of the race at 214.4894. Not as quick as last year, but he's the quickest man around the mountain. He's just that Martin Short who thought he was that quick. But now Garth Tanda proves that he is on for a win here. He's the fastest man around the mountain this weekend. He's right up behind Murphy, heading up Mountain Straight. The two marvellous Bonaros, nose to tail. It was fastest by one one hundredth of a second oh. in 6.2 kilometres. <laughs> <laughs> and the lion is out of the cage at the mountain. So, Murphy, second fastest time of the race at 2.14.49. Tanda at 2.14.48. Holden have unleashed the, the young guns. The lions are at Mount Panorama. Oh, and that traffic is exactly what you don't want. Come on, get out of the way. You go left, you go right. Eventually, the back marker makes up his mind. The two Monaros round the outside. There's a white flag being shown as well, which means a very slow vehicle. It was the Nissan that gets out of the way. There's more traffic for Murph. He's got to get his heart in his mouth. Deep oh, breath, another back marker in the way. To the left goes Murph and Garth Tander here, just following him through. Murphy's doing the hard work. Ford, are you watching? You've got to be back here next year in the Ford GT40. This is too good. You've got to be part of this. Murphy continuing to lead. Tander winding down now. Two and a half laps of this race to go. 24 hours and then nose to tail. Same lap, same lap speeds. Same two young drivers with the ambition to win this race. And spirit thought for the drivers in the other cars who've been out there with their team for 23 hours and 50 minutes. Just saying, what is going on behind me? I see two big lions stalking me down. Uh, it's lap 525 and it's even closer than lap one, isn't it? Well, John Alexander, have you ever seen a Davis Cup final like this one? <laughs> well, this is like uh, 10 all in the fifth set. There's no tiebreakers. <laughs> Look at Tanda now. Oh, four minutes to go. Four minutes to go. Falls in behind through the Caltex Haviland chase. Four minutes to go in this race. They'll have two laps to go this time around if our stats are right. So it's still Murphy. Tanda on a charge. He's got the four faster car. Go, four minutes to go. Down they come then to VIP Petfoot's corner. Tanda having a look on the outside, trying to unsettle Greg Murphy, trying to pressure him into a mistake. All he needs is for him to thump a curb, run a little bit wide, and that's going to give the advantage to Tanda. Nose to tail, they come across the line. 427, almost hidden, and now he looks on the inside. No, can't find a way through there. 216.8, 216.7. Murphy, again, one tenth of a second slower than Tanda that time around. Stationary car at the cutting. The Donut King cutting, you can see. There's a car there right on the oh. racing line. If that brings out the safety car, that's done it, hasn't it, for Murphy? Chase. Car in the chase. Up they go. Tandra has got one corner to make this stick. He's going to have a look on the inside. He's going to be able to do it. Nose to tail. That, I think, was Tandra's last chance with that car in the road. Surely he's going to bring the safety car out. Hopefully they can uh, roll it back down out of the way. That's probably the best chance we have. But Murphy well and truly had the door shut then on Tanda. Tanda couldn't get the run. This is where the slow oh. car is around the outside. So at this stage, now again, more slow traffic. Murphy reads it beautifully, though. Tanda goes with him. I think the slow car is the 888 wheelpower Porsche that's come back out of the pits and ground to a halt. Well, there's no indication yet of a safety car. I think everybody in race control is too engrossed in this battle as well to worry about it. Well, 525 laps, 532 the distance last year. They won't cover the same amount of distance due to the number of safety cars, the horrific conditions. Listen to the crowd roar on Mount Panorama. The Holden battle isn't over yet. 23 hours, 57 minutes, 10 seconds. Into the last three minutes of the race. It could not be closer, could it? Look at this. The two Monaros running absolutely nose to tail and Murphy under all this pressure. And it's not as if he's not been up all night either. He is a tired man, so is Tanda. And the adrenaline now pumping through them as they come onto Conrad Strait once again. Lap 526. Amazing stuff. Peter Fitzgerald back there still in third place in the pocket tyres Porsche from Olsen. In the German Porsche car, six, the Mosler and Martin Short, 900. What's going to happen when they come down to the Caltex? Have a chase. Look at Tanda. Thinks about a run on the inside. Has the door shut. Is in full attack mode. Another slower car. It's the number 70 Nash Motorsport Porsche that's going to have to dart out of the way. Greg Murphy will hesitate and just oh. work out which way to go. He Whoops. goes to the outside and Tanda follows him through. They're almost touching now, these two. They're so close. They're going to be side by side. And they coming down towards the last corner. Not quite. Again, Tanda unable to get the line, so narrow is the circuit. Up they come now across the start and finish line. How long have we got? We've got less than two minutes. It's going to be one more lap. One, one more lap, folks. They're on their last lap, and the fight is not over yet. The Monaro rules the mountain, but who's going to rule between Murphy and Tanda? The big long run now up Mountain Straight. Murphy continues to lead. The red car he's sharing with Peter Brock. 
Will this be Brocky's 10th Bathurst win, or will Garth Tander take it from him? You'll be lynched if you do, I'm sure. It's all the mechanics looking at the screens then in the Gary Rogers Motorsport Garage. They haven't drawn breath for a quarter of an hour. They are absolutely engrossed in this. Another oh. slower car negotiated. And Murphy, they're darting up on the inside. I reckon, I'm tempting fate, but I think he might just have done enough on this last lap now, but let's see. Well, of course, slower traffic may well come into play. Yellow flags, of course, for that stock car of the Donut King cutting. It is the Triple Eight Porsche parked there. More traffic that uh, Greg Murphy and Garth Tander have to weave their way around. It's going to be Conrad Strait, I think, where it'll all be oh. played out. But here they come again, still tied together, these two. And you can see by the body language of the car, these guys are not holding back. They're pushing hard. This is a proper race. Whatever you might think about team orders in motorsport, forget them as far as this is concerned. You heard Gary Rogers taking them off the leash, and aren't we grateful that he did so? Absolutely. Full credit to Gary Rogers Motorsport and Holden for letting these two boys run it uh, cleanly and fairly right to the end as they come down oh. through oh. Coat Tire. Oh, look at the slow traffic. Peter Borden's BMW, the class leader in Class D with Rick Bates behind the wheel at the moment. And Murphy on the brakes. Tander still reading the traffic beautifully with him. They wrap up the Tomlinson, Toyota Altezza as well. There goes Murphy through. Tander's still there. He's lost absolutely nothing. But this is where he could, could, could make the move. They're onto Conrad Strait for the last time. We've got 13 seconds to go. The checkered flag will be out this time. Slippery surface flag as well. Another variable to add in on the last lap. But Murphy looking a little bit stronger. There's, what, two, three lengths possibly between the two as they go to the chase for the last time. It's going to be a Monaro 1-2. But which way is it going to go? Is it going to be the 0-5 or the 427, Craig Lanyard? Well, there we go. Tander's going to make his move now. He's got to play the hand. Murphy's got him covered. With 24 hours about to tick over, the first car to cross the line, once the 24-hour clock has moved through, will take the win. It's Murphy with Tander right behind him again, slow traffic forcing Tander out wide. They come through VIP for the last time. We're looking at Greg Murphy in 05. He takes the win. He gives Peter Brock the perfect 10. Can you believe it?